Hello, today we will review the draft constraint in Generate. This constraint is useful when designing parts for molding or casting. We will use a design space similar to the simple cantilever example available in the sample projects. The final result of this tutorial is shown here in Generate. Let's open a new project and get started. Here we are inside of a new project in Generate. Our first task is to create the draft constraint. In this optimization, we have pin connections that run from one extreme of the design space to the other aligned with the y-axis. this part were to be molded, the pull direction should be aligned with the direction of these pins to allow for removal of the part. Therefore, we should apply the draft constraint along the y-axis. Like other design constraints in Generate, we need to select a face of the design space that is normal or perpendicular to the direction we want to apply our desired design constraint. In this optimization, we want to apply the draft constraint in the direction of the y-axis. Therefore, we should select a face of the design space that is perpendicular to the y-axis. After the draft constraint has been created, a black vector will appear in the 3D viewer indicating which direction it has been applied. Next, we need to specify a couple of parameters for the draft constraint. To do that, we click the pencil icon next to the newly created draft constraint in the design constraints group. Next, we need to consider the draft angle. A typical draft angle can range from 1 to 3 degrees. Here we will use an exaggerated angle of 10 degrees for demonstration purposes. Next, we need to consider the parting surface. Generate can automatically calculate the parting surface, but it may not always be planar. For this optimization, we want the parting surface to be planar, so we enable constrained planar parting surface. By default, the planar parting surface is located at the volume centroid of the design space. Entering a non-zero value for the level parameter will modify the location of the parting surface. Next, we need to input a few boundary conditions. If you are unfamiliar with boundary conditions, please watch our Generate Overview video, or in future videos we will cover them in detail. Generate has finished optimizing our part, and the final result has been loaded to the 3D canvas. If we zoom in and look carefully, a crease is visible where we specified the planar parting surface. To either side of that parting line, the exaggerated draft angle of 10 degrees is visible. This concludes the tutorial on the draft constraint. Thank you for watching and good luck with your optimizations.